the holidays are coming and you know you're going to be smoking a turkey or a ham to impress your family or friends. Welcome to another uh, episode of Smoke Meat with Jeff. Today I'm going to show you how to take that smoked turkey or ham dish that you're doing and really throw it over the top and impress your family and friends with a, uh, a side drink uh, that you can make. Uh, we're going to do a rather large batch today so enough for dinner as well as to give away but we're going to be making some pumpkin spice liqueur that you can throw into uh, coffee to make a pumpkin spice coffee. Uh, you can do a pumpkin spice martini. It's just the perfect side uh, drink to have with that smoked turkey or ham for the holidays. Um, so let me go over some of the basic ingredients, both the food and non-food ingredients, and then we're going to get started on uh, brewing our concoction that takes just a couple of hours to brew, um, and then we'll bottle it up, and then it sits for a couple of days uh, before it's ready to drink. So. Uh, Let's move on to uh, some of the ingredients. Okay, pumpkin spice liqueur. Fairly easy to make and just takes a couple of real basic kitchen uh, accoutrements to make it happen. You're going to need a, uh, a large uh, saucepan for brewing this in. You're going to need a, a fine mesh strainer and some cheesecloth. We're not going to use uh, coffee strainers because that's uh, too fine. You want to go with cheesecloth when we get to straining this, uh, this mix. Uh, and then you're going to need a large container for allowing this to sit for a couple of days while the, the, mixture, the flavors really mix into the liqueur. Um, and you're going to need a sharp knife and of course some bottles when all is said and done. Uh, for putting this in permanently and as you can see I've got a couple of bottles here I got a little potion bottle a little uh, 8 ounce um, Boston and I've got a 4 ounce Boston as well if you want to give these away as gifts get small bottles and I've got a link down in the, the description below as to where I get my bottles from but make sure you get the tea corks don't get just the little basic corks the tea corks work much better for sealing these without breaking over time um, and you can seal them up and you can actually mail these things uh, fairly reliably. Um, so that covers the, uh, the non-food ingredients. Let's cover the, uh, the food ingredients next. Alright, I've got all my, uh, my food ingredients laid out here and I'm going to go through these one at a time. I'm going to be doing a large batch today, um, so I'm going to be giving you the directions on how to do a, basically a double batch. So if you want to do a smaller batch just for yourself, just cut, out, uh, cut the, all of these ingredients in half. Um, for this, we are going to need um, I got four cups of water. We are going to need a two cups of granulated sugar, and I've got uh, raw cane sugar for this. You are also going to need two cups of uh, tightly packed light brown sugar, and I've got a um, this is a 29 ounce can of uh, pumpkin. Uh, this is 100% pure pumpkin. Uh, you don't want pie filling. You want pumpkin. Um, uh, comes in a nice convenient can, works out well, and they also have the smaller cans if you're doing a, uh, a half batch. Uh, we are going to need a total of 12 cinnamon sticks, about 3 inches in length. We need 12 cloves, whole cloves, these little spicy uh, doodads right here. And we are going to need a total of 4 vanilla beans. Uh, vanilla beans are very expensive. Um, but I buy them online for about a dollar a piece and I'll put that link down in the directions below uh, the video here so you can see where I get these uh, online. We're going to need four of these and we're actually going to take it and cut them in half and kind of open them up a little bit to expose the, uh, the little vanilla seeds on the inside. Um, and then at the end we are going to need four cups of a spiced rum. Uh, and you can use any type of spiced rum that, that you prefer. Um, I'm going to be going with Bacardi Oak Heart, which is a spiced rum uh, finished off in charred oak barrels. Just love this stuff. Um, you want to make sure you stick with a spiced rum, uh, not just a white rum or specifically a coconut rum. You want a spiced rum for this, this recipe. So uh, now we just need to move on to uh, basically combining these ingredients and cooking up the mixture. There's going to be a little straining involved and in the end we're going to end up with a great pumpkin paste that you can use uh, for even another side dish um, 
either while you're cooking your, your turkey or ham, or if you want to serve it to your guests, we're going to make a, uh, um, a pumpkin, basically a pumpkin cheesecake spread. That's just absolutely amazing. Um, so uh, let's move on to brewing our uh, pumpkin spice liqueur. All right, to, uh, to make our pumpkin spice liqueur syrup, uh, just a couple of real quick steps. I'm not going to go through and show you how to do it all because uh, you don't need to watch me boil water. Um, but basically, you're going to take your, uh, your four cups of water, throw it into your saucepan, and then you're going to add your sugars, your, uh, um, your cane sugar, as well as your um, light brown sugar. And then you're going to take this over to the stovetop uh, and bring this to a boil. Uh, once it gets to a boil, then you're going to add all of your other ingredients, uh, the, uh, the vanilla beans that I've got cut in half and actually pried open a little bit to expose the seeds. Um, the, uh, the cloves are going to go in, the uh, cinnamon sticks, and of course the pumpkin uh, puree. And you're going to whisk all of that in. And then you're going to bring it to a low simmer. Uh, and let it simmer for about 30 to 45 minutes. You can even go as long as an hour if you really want to get those, uh, those flavors in there. Um, and then we're going to pull it off of the stove uh, and go from there. So I'm going to go get this going, uh, get everything mixed up, and get it cooking. And then when we return, we will uh, we'll talk about what the next step is. And of course, you may end up with a little extra of your, uh, your spiced rum left over uh, prior to doing the next step. So. Uh, Go ahead and make yourself a cocktail, maybe a rum and coke or, or something like that. So we'll be back here in a little bit. So I have to tell you at this point my uh, house smells amazing from uh, cooking up this uh, pumpkin spice uh, syrup for the last uh, 45 minutes or so. Um, before we strain it through our um, um, cheesecloth and uh, mesh uh, strainer here. I am going to remove as much of the uh, the hard ingredients as I can Just so that I don't have to try and fish them out later because the paste that will be left over um, We're going to use use that for or can be used for something else after uh, after we have all of this uh, strained through but uh, Got a couple containers here just pulling out all the uh, Let's see we got the vanilla beans we've got uh, uh, the cinnamon sticks, and then I'm really going to see if I can find these, uh, the little, um, what were they called again? The cloves. So I'm going to work on this for a little bit, and then we're going to strain it. 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, looks like I found all the solids, uh, so I don't have to worry about having those in the strainer. So we got our leftover cinnamon sticks, got our leftover uh, vanilla bean, and then I've got a little pile of the, uh, uh, the cloves down here. Now it's just a matter of uh, running this through a strainer and letting all of the liquid strain out, leaving the solids behind. And this may actually take a little while because uh, um, we're using the cheesecloth here and as this cheesecloth uh, gets clogged up, it'll go slower and slower. So I'm gonna start it off now. This, uh, I'm not exactly sure how long a double batch is gonna take, but uh, We'll take a look here, and we're going to end up with a uh, pumpkin uh, spice paste in this cheesecloth that, like I said earlier, we will save, and I'll give you some ideas on what to do with this uh, after we're done. So I'm going to strain this for a little bit, and then we'll be back to the uh, one of the final steps. Well, it took about uh, 30, 35 minutes or so, but uh, we got our... Um, pumpkin mash drained. I've still got it sitting here in the, uh, the cheesecloth and I can put a little pressure on it and wring out a little more, but uh, we got enough to get us started, but I'm going to set this aside and let it drain for an, a little while longer and we'll add that to our, uh, our mixture as we go along. So uh, let's turn it into a liqueur. So I've got my, um, my large uh, seeping container here. Um, you can see I got about a, a just a little under a cup of the rum in here because a standard bottle of uh, a 750 milliliter bottle is just over three cups of uh, liquid and we need four cups and at this point all we're going to do is uh, add our 
pumpkin, uh, spiced pumpkin um, syrup to this, and then uh, top it off with the rum, and let it sit for about two days to let the uh, the flavors mellow, and uh, then we can start bottling it up. I'm going to go grab my uh, my funnel to do this real quick because I don't want to lose all my syrup down the uh, the side of this this jar. Okay, got my funnel. Let's make ourselves some pumpkin spice liqueur. Look at that golden brown color. Nice. And now our spiced rum. Oh, it's going to be close. And there we have it. A double batch, or in my case, I consider it a full batch, of pumpkin spice liqueur. Ready to sit for a couple of days and uh, really let those flavors permeate the uh, and alcohol. And then it'll come back to, to bottle this. So uh, check back in a couple of days and we'll see where we go with this. Ah, our pumpkin spice liqueur has been uh, um, seeping for about two days now to really uh, get that uh, the flavor throughout and, and mix in with the, uh, the rum. So let's see where we're at with this. Oh, that smells great. So at this point, you're obviously going to taste what you've made. So go ahead and grab a little bit. And from this point on, it's just a matter of, uh, man, that's awesome. Enjoying your creation, grabbing your bottles, bottling it up, and then uh, making cocktails and giving it away. So uh, I'll be back here in a minute after I get some of this uh, bottled up, and uh, we'll talk about what you can do with it. Perfect. Oh, excuse me for a moment while I finish up my drink. Oh, that's looking awesome. Oh, enjoying the fruits of your labor. So I've got it all bottled up. Got a couple different containers here that I'm going to give away as gifts to uh, family and friends. And of course I have uh, plenty of this pumpkin spice liqueur left over for my own personal stash. And uh, now I've got my pumpkin spice martini. Perfect. Well, uh, stay tuned for one of my uh, uh, cocktail time videos where I'll show you how to make this pumpkin spice martini out of the uh, pumpkin spice liqueur that we just made. So uh, until next time, have fun on your smoker. Have an even better time uh, with your cocktails. This is Jeff with uh, Smoke Me with Jeff. Cheers. Happy holidays.